Hi, for this week's reading log, I chose the 2018 William Allen White Children's Book winner, Fish in a Tree by Linda Molly Hunt. Um, this book was voted on by kids in third through fifth grade, too, for this award. There is no illustrator because, as you can see, it's kind of more of a chapter book. Um, it was published by Nancy Polson Books in 2015, at least the hardcover was. Uh, it is a fiction book appropriate for children ages 10 to 14. So, Fish in a Tree follows Allie. And Allie has difficulty reading. You know, she thinks that since she has difficulty reading and she's different from the other kids that she's dumb. But really she doesn't see though that how much of a talented artist she is, you know, and how she's good in other subjects like math. You know, she just can't be convinced that she's just not the dumb kid that can't read or write like her the other kids in her class. You know, and whenever it comes up where she has to read or write, she's able to create these big distractions that usually end up with her in the office but she's able to create these distractions so none of her teachers have figured out that you know she can't read or write she's moved around a lot her dad's in the military and nobody's noticed until her teacher mrs. hunt goes on maternity leave mr. Daniels is the substitute teacher and he kind of starts to notice that Allie's behavior isn't just bad just to be bad, just to be disruptive. He sees that there's actually a problem there. There's, you know, he's trying to figure out why she's acting the way she is. You know, and he, she starts to gain his trust, and he starts to gain her trust, and he starts to realize, hey, it looks like maybe she might have a learning disability. So he gets the process rolling, encourages her to get tested, and it turns out that Allie is dyslexic. Dyslexic which would explain all of her issues with reading and writing. You know, so th and this is all going on. Allie's having her inner struggles with just with herself. And then she has two girls in her class, Shay and Jessica, that are also picking on her. You know, Shay is kind of the ringleader of the between the two of them, and they just pick on Allie just because they can in school and out of school. Luckily, Allie meets Keisha and Albert. Keisha is also a new girl who's very confident in herself and has no issues standing up to Shay when she's being mean to Allie. So Keisha kind of helps protect Allie, you know, help her ignore the words that Shay is saying. Albert, he's kind of like Allie. He's kind of the class know-it-all. He just seems to know everything. He's a little on the bigger side. And the, cl the kids pick on him. So the three of them eventually all get together, become best friends, and really help each other make it through their sixth grade year. Um, most of this book takes place in a small town. You know, the small towns where everybody knows everyone. And most of it takes place in Allie's school. You know, where she's starting sixth grade. You know, this is where we find she has her struggles and where we learn how you know, that she has dyslexia and how she's starting to become confident herself all happen at her school. If she's not at school, she's either at home or at her mother's job at AC Peterson Farm, which is a restaurant. Um, one of the main themes of this book, you know, is I think definitely accepting your differences and how you're unique. You know, Allie always knew she was different. She knew she couldn't read. And she always let that bring her down but eventually you know she started to accept that she was different and realize that that's okay and you know she became a more confident person in who she was and she no longer let her learning disability define who she was so this is one reason why I think this is a great book for children you know to help teach them you know embrace who you are embrace you know your differences not everyone's the same and that's okay you know Treat people the way you want to be treated. Don't be like Shay in the book. Be Allie. You know, you don't want people to feel like Allie did when Shay was mean to her. So, for this book, I would have them do an activity that goes along with the quote, 
where the name of the book comes from. And the quote is, everybody is smart in different ways, but if you judge a fish by its ability to climb a tree, it will live its life believing that it is stupid. So I kind of want children to go off this, write a few paragraphs, and tell me what kind of smart they are. You know, what makes them unique? What makes them different? You know, the book is all about uplifting, accepting who you are. So I think it's important, you know, for students to actually make connections and you know, think about why am I special? You know, maybe they ha don't think about that. Maybe they need this uplifting message, just like Allie did. You know, I think it's all about students being able to reflect on themselves. You know, maybe you're not math smart. That's okay. Maybe you're not good at English. Maybe you're not good at academics at all. You are smart in one, some way, and I think it's important for students to be able to identify that. So, I think this is a great book and definitely recommend it. So go check it out from your local library. And that is all for this week.